I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. Who is this girl? Who are you? <laughs> I'm here to date The Bachelor. Ooh, oh, cat pigeons cat among. Pigeons. We are joined now by uh, Mary. Uh, Mary, Hi. good morning to you. Good morning. You're in a mystery location. I am. You can't tell us where you are. Cheers, Mary. Cheers. Cheers. Chin, chin. I went into like a zombie trance and I was just pretty much grabbing, I grabbed everything off the shelf. From bread sticks to fairy floss to like to walnuts. I had like literally everything that was on the shelves and I just thought you're just gonna wing this when you get upstairs. Good morning, you are waking up with Belle and Mary. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's 25 degrees here, we're down at Bondi Beach. It's a hot and sunny day and we're ready to listen to some tunes and have some fun. This morning we are discussing bunnies versus roosters territory and whether or not Coogee Beach is bunnies or roosters territory. So this morning guys, we are discussing bathroom behavior around <laughs> men. We had a little bit of an embarrassing incident this morning. And we're back, you are waking up with Belle and Mary. How are you feeling there, Mary? Oh, you know, I've um, had a recent experience, dating experience, and I, I don't know to all the girls out there whether or not you've ever dated a man-child, but recently I have. Let me tell you something. Yeah, sure. Foster ended it with me, but I'm not a woman scorned. I certainly wouldn't kill him out of spite. I'm better off without him. Why is that? Honestly, he turned out to be quite a jerk. There are only certain times and places that we could actually meet and he just stopped showing up. He chose his friends, his family, drinking and gambling over me. Gambling? Yeah, that's all he cared about. What, dinosaur races? <laughs> no. I mean, that would have been something worth selling tickets over, but no. Cards. Where did he play? At Boylan's, mostly. There's a real scene over there. 